Welcome back. You may have noticed that I am not posting weekly videos regularly anymore. I've switched to every other week for right now just because of my crazy work schedule. I wasn't able to keep up with posting every week. So on the off weeks, or at least on some of the off weeks, I'm going to try to have these really short, quick tips and tricks for veterinary technician videos. So to start off our short how-to videos, this week we're going to be sticking with our transfusion medicine theme and go over how to calculate either an hourly transfusion rate or a drip rate for some kind of blood product transfusion. So I want to break this down into two quick categories. One, calculating a transfusion rate if you're using some kind of fluid pump and two, calculating a manual drip rate. Now, in the next video about how to administer a blood transfusion, we're going to be talking about what kind of pumps you can or cannot use for blood product administration, but this is simply going to be talking about how to calculate our hourly rate because traditional fluid pumps only run in mils per hour. So let's talk about how to calculate mils per hour for a blood product transfusion. Step one, know how many mils you're administering and over how long. Uh, we're going to pretend like we're giving Dobby a blood transfusion. Cat packed red blood cells are usually 20 to 30 mils per unit. So we're gonna say we're giving Dobby a 30 mil blood transfusion over four hours, which is a pretty traditional standard rate of administration. So first we're gonna need to break down how many total mils we're giving over how many hours. And that will give us our hourly rate. But we usually administer blood transfusions more slowly at first. There's a lot of different ways of doing this. I like to break it down into a quarter of the rate for the first 30 minutes, a half of the rate for the next 30 minutes, and then full rate for two hours, and then double rate for one hour. So uh, a quarter of 7.5 mils per hour is going to be 1.8 mils per hour. A half of our rate is going to be 3.8 mils per hour. Our full rate is going to be 7.5 mils per hour for two hours. And then our double rate is going to be 15 mils an hour until our transfusion is gone. This may finish a little bit quickly, um, maybe like 15 or so minutes ahead of schedule, but in my experience, usually transfusions end up taking a little bit longer than you intended them to for whatever reason, either occlusions or pausing the pump for different reasons. So usually this works out, ends up working out okay. Buddy, come on. Okay, so that's how to calculate your fluid rate if you're running your transfusion on some kind of fluid pump. But again, often we're not. Often we are just going to be figuring out a manual drip rate, which is a little bit harder. So let's talk about calculating a drip rate if we're not using any kind of fluid administration pump. So let's pretend that we're giving a double packed red cell unit, so about 240 mils over four hours. So we start by calculating that hourly rate. So we're gonna say 240 mils over four hours equals about 60 mils an hour. But uh, we're administering this as a drip rate. Most blood transfusion sets are either 10 or 15 drops per mil. In this scenario, let's pretend that uh, we're working with an administration set that's 10 drops per mil, just for simplicity's sake. So then we have to convert our mils per hour into drops per hour. So we're gonna do 60 mils times 10 drops per mil, which will equal 600 drops per hour. 
but we don't sit there for an hour and calculate exactly how many drops are being administered for our transfusion. So you have to break this down into a smaller unit of measurement. I like to count over six seconds. So I'm gonna break this down over six seconds. You can break it down over five seconds. You can break it down over 10 seconds. It's just whatever your preference is. This is the way I like to do it. So we're going to break down drops per hour into drops per six seconds. So we're going to do 600 drops per hour divided by 60 minutes, which will give us 10 drops per minute. Then we're gonna break that down further into there being 10 six second intervals in one minute. So we're going to do 10 drops per minute divided by 10 intervals of six seconds per minute, which is going to give us one drop for every six seconds. So this example patient's normal administration rate is going to be one drop every six seconds, but we're gonna administer this transfusion more slowly in the beginning. So we're going to do a quarter of that initially for the first 30 minutes, which is going to be 0.25 drops per every six seconds or one drop every 24 seconds. We're gonna double that in 30 minutes time so that we have half a drop every six seconds or one drop every 12 seconds. We're gonna run the full rate of one drop every six seconds for two hours. And then for the last hour, we're gonna double the rate. So we're running two drops every six seconds. So that's the quick and dirty and how to calculate an hourly fluid pump rate or drip rate for a blood transfusion. Make sure you stay tuned next week when we're gonna talk about blood products and we're gonna talk about monitoring for blood product administration. Thank you.